Former Councilman Jose Huizar has agreed to plead guilty to racketeering and tax evasion. The charges are just connected to a bribery and money laundering scheme involving a downtown L.A. hotel project. KCAL News political reporter Tom Waite has details on the plea agreement. One longtime L.A. city leader says this could be one of L.A.'s most outrageous scandals in its history. Certainly one current city leaders are looking to put behind them. Former L.A. City Councilman Jose Huizar will plead guilty to federal charges that he used his job at City Hall in a bribery and money laundering scheme, taking $1.5 million in cash, gambling trips, and escorts in exchange for his support of a planned downtown hotel project. FBI agents served search warrants at Weezar's City Hall office and at his home back in November of 2018. But until now, he has maintained his innocence. I'm not sure we know the whole story, and, and maybe we never will. Zev Yaroslavsky served decades on L.A. City Council and served as an L.A. County supervisor. Everybody who's been involved in this has either pled guilty or has been convicted by, uh, by a jury. So... Uh, it is what it, it may be the most uh, pernicious um, and outrageous uh, bribery corruption scandal in the history of the city. According to Huizar's plea agreement, he will plead guilty to racketeering, conspiracy, and tax evasion. His case is the latest in a series of scandals at LA City Hall. In an unrelated case, suspended councilman Mark Ridley Thomas is also accused in a pay to play scheme involving his son and a free scholarship to USC, while Ridley Thomas was an LA County supervisor. But with Huizar's case almost in the rearview mirror, there is hope a brighter future is ahead. We have a new mayor. We have several new council members. Uh, you know, the, the problem council members are gone. Uh, it's an opportunity for them to turn the city, uh, the city's reputation around and City Hall's reputation around, and that, the sooner the better. Huizar could spend up to 26 years in prison. His plea agreement calls for no less than nine years. In the newsroom, I'm Tom Waite, KCAL News. Now, back in 2021, another